Look at oh. this beauties! Wow! These are Mongolian dogs. Hello! It looks like a little bear, no? Yeah. Hello! Wow, massive! Look how beautiful! He's a champion of, the, of Mongolia. Oh, you competition. By the way he looks or is it by his yeah, ability by, by his or looks and by his breed? Hello. Wow. Original breed. Oh. So he's the very original. That's incredible, beautiful dog. Oh. Making PB yeah. everywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Good morning world! Welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle! We're here in the city of Dahan in Mongolia and we're here with Eva and Jana in the car in front of us and oh hold on a minute <laughs> just uh, made a nice splash on there oh my god and last night Eva was kind enough to offer us a room in his place oh my god oh my hold god <laughs> It was a really, really crazy thunderstorm going on yesterday night. So it was pretty much raining the whole night. And today, this uh, way out turned into a, a little bit of an off-road trail here. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, this is actually quite extreme, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, Ava bought this plot on the edge of Dahan town. But of course, the road to get there isn't fully developed yet. Oh my god, my heart. <laughs> okay, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. As long as I'm just going through nice and easy. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna have to go nice and easy straight through it. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, yeah, there was a lot of rain last night, hey, oh my goodness. Yes. Yeah, some heavy rain. Wow. Oh. Okay, here we go. But we have still a little bit of a ride today. Yeah, so we're heading for breakfast with Eva and Jana now. Then let me show you the route for the rest of the day. Okay, so welcome to our new and wonderful map of Mongolia. So we are all the way in the north here, just near the border to Russia. And today we are heading down this road to the capital of Mongolia, Ulaanbaatar. Okay, I'm gonna have to go through it, I think. Yeah. It's the only way. All right, here we go. Yes, <laughs> we reached the edge. <laughs> yeah, wow, that was a start, eh? I'm already loving Mongolia. Yeah. <laughs> the ride in yesterday was absolutely spectacular. It was just amazing. All the animals we saw, herds of horses, goats, cattle, nomadic herders in the beautiful crazy mountains. It was just really, really cool. Like 15, 20 horses in one go running across the road into the distance, you know. There are nice mountains, there are lakes, wow. And a herd of camels. We saw camels yesterday, Bactrian camels for the first time in our lives. And that was just absolutely magical. They were like up on the top of this hill with the sun behind them. It was a scene out of a Mongolian documentary, really. For sure. But anyway, I'm super hungry. Apparently, Eber tells us that we, we kind of missed breakfast. So he said we can have like Mongolian fried noodles. So we said, yeah, all right, let's have Mongolian fried noodles for breakfast. <laughs> awesome. And also Eber, 
showed us the YouTube channel that he's working on. He's part of a team that do this channel called Adger, and it's all about Mongolian food, Mongolian culture, music, and these guys are traveling around and just making some really, really nice videos. Yeah, wow, guys, you really have to check out this one video of them where they're actually preparing food inside a... <laughs> Inside, oh my god, what was it? Like a, Inside a goat. Inside a goat. Like the like, whole goat. Like they cut their head off and then they take everything out of the neck. Then they put back all the meat after it's been like carved out and stuff. And they put vegetables. And then they put hot rocks inside the goat. You cook it inside its own skin. Yes. Absolutely crazy. Really guys, you have to check out this video. You can't believe it. It's insane. I'm just really, really impressed with their uh, work they're doing on their channel really good job guys i love it it's a really really cool channel so check it out i'm going to put the link in the description it's called art ger which ger is the traditional yurt and art so it's art house yes in mongolian yeah and everything is in english as well which is really cool amazing but this is actually insane as well as oh. how much water there is yeah are we back in ecuador oh, oh my god it gets seriously, seriously deep just here. Wow! I think that car is, is, uh, is toast. Oh my god, a bit of flooding. <laughs> Man! So I don't think Mongolia is a very vegetarian friendly nation. Actually, I think for breakfast, the, the noodles we're going to have might have beef in it as well. You know, I love to be vegetarian, but I'm getting sick of it as well because we travel to so many countries and the cuisine is always so meat based. And I said now for this country, you know, if there's a little bit beef in my noodles. Yeah. I will eat it. Yeah, and Iba said as well that we just um, probably aren't going to find much vegetarian food. So if we can't find anything vegetarian too easily, we're just going to go with it. We're just going to roll with it. It's the only way we can go. Yeah, I mean, you lost a lot of weight as well yeah. recently. So anyway, I am hungry and I'm looking forward to a traditional Mongolian lunch. Oh, look. It's like what we saw yesterday. So this is a typical lunch uh, place. Yes. Cool. So everywhere you go, you have this typical setup, yes. and then and then we have this menu. There's nothing you can see. But... <laughs> 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 yeah. There's some good options right there. Yeah. Right. And so we're gonna have some noodles. Yes. Fried noodles. Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm excited. A script. Yes. It's actually the one and only script that. It's written from the top to bottom. That's a big, big noodle portion. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm excited. Bon appetit. Thank you. <laughs> this one. This is sheep tail. <laughs> this is sheep tail. Mongolians love sheep tail. Wow. Yeah, it's full protein. It's not, it's not fat. Okay, Oli, I want to see you eating sheep tail. <laughs> Okay, so our first Mongolian meal, hey? Yes! <laughs> and it was completely not vegetarian. Yeah, yeah, I ate a few little bits of meat. But it was actually super tasty, really nice actually. Yeah. So now we're on to mission number two before we head to Ulaanbaatar. And that is to get ourselves a Mongolian SIM card. So we're just going to follow Iba and Jana. And they're going to take us over to the SIM card shop. And get ourselves set up with some internet. Just data, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, Iba is about to write Mongolia on the box. Mongolia. Oh, wow. <laughs> no way. Yeah. That's Mongolia. Yeah, yeah. Wow. This is Mongols. Mongols. Yes, Mong. Mong. Mongol. So it's like you're beginning to say Mongolia, and then when you get to here, you just give up. Yeah. And you just go. <laughs> they added the IA. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't need the IA in Mongolian. You're just like Mongol. That's awesome. Thank you. That's great. Yeah, awesome. And I'm sure we will see you again. Yeah. Bye. Bye.
Yeah. I hope you meet more good people on the way. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okie dokie, back on the road. It was so nice to stay with you, really. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, SIM card successful. We got ourselves 25 gig and a SIM card. I think it cost us about $10. So that was really, really good, really cheap. And we got ourselves some cash from the ATM as well. And it's crazy because I withdrew 800,000 uh, of the local currency, which I, I don't really remember the name. It was something like Kut Cook. Kut Cook. Kut Cook. Kut Tukrukuk. <laughs> Maybe what? Tukruk? Uh, Tukruk. Kutruk. Kutruk. I don't remember. Something like that. I'll, I'll look it up. Yeah, so we got 800,000. I, I could have withdrawn a million of the local wow. currency yes. and that would have only been like 250 pounds. We are millionaires! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> millionaires <laughs> for a moment until you get to the first hotel and they say, oh, that's 300,000, please. And wow. you're like, oh, no longer a millionaire. Mm. But right now, we're nearly millionaires. Yeah. Now, Iber and Jana are going to the cinema and we are heading to Ulaanbaatar. Yes, my God, it was so cool to hang out with these guys. I miss them already. But we said once we settle down, we will uh, make sure that we can invite them to wherever we settle down and then we can spend more time together or we come back to Mongolia. Iba said, good start, then it's going to be a good finish. So it's been an amazing start in Mongolia. So I can't wait to see what's ahead. So thank you so much, Iba. Thank you so much, Jana. It's been so nice. You've been super hospitable and uh, we're gonna miss you guys yes bye guys oh. <laughs> bye <laughs> oh i love them there we go oh alone again alone again hey alone in mongolia alone in mongolia ah. Ah. and iba taught us as well that Ulaanbaatar, the short form is UB. Yeah, we're just gonna head down to UB, do a bit yeah. of shopping. Yeah, exactly. We are so Mongolian. Yeah! Let's go! First fuel up in Mongolia. Yep. So 95 is 3,820 per litre. Should we do 92? How much is 92? 2,470. Well, how much is that? It's like 50 cents as well. No way. Well, it's 4,300 to 1. 50 cents then? So or like 60 like, cents? Yeah, it's like 60 cents. Cool! Okay, let's go so 92 then, eh? We go for 92. Yeah. I don't know how we're supposed to do, whether you're supposed to pay first or take the fuel first. Oh, okay, so I can do it first. Oh! It's you... Uh, no, not me. Oh, okay. Thank you. So we filled up six and a half liters, cost us three pounds 91. So it's like nothing. absolutely nothing. At the end, so Lavi says that the toilet is just a hole in the ground. I have to see this for myself. Oh yeah, there you go. It is indeed just a hole in the concrete. Oh well, let's give it a go. Look at this perfect tarmac road here. Looks like it's brand new, they're just building it. Yeah, I think so too. I think they will actually build a double lane highway. You see over there, they're building like a second road. Yeah, and amazing open landscapes around. Look at this. Hills all around, big mountains in the background. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Yeah, such a stunning landscape. It's just so big. It's Can't so big. How big and open it is. Yeah, it's just open, open views. Crazy man. These guys are just admiring our bike. They took a break next to us. Suzuki. 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 Yeah. Morocco, Mauritania, Brazil, Argentina, Argentina, Vladivostok, Mongolia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like this. Yes. One, two, three. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> So 
so we're just going to turn off of the main road for a little detour excursion. Ipa, he uh, recommended to us, he said, if you're heading from Dahan down to Ulaanbaatar, you have to stop and visit this monastery. It's like up on a hill, super awesome. So many goats. So many goats. Hey oh. <laughs> and then there's another herd walking across the road. What is that? No way. Yeah, I think there's a whole herd coming across the road. <laughs> a Mongolian roadblock. Wow, look how many sheep. Wow. And goats. They're just everywhere. There are so many livestock in Mongolia. I think Ipa told us they have like over 70 million livestock here. Wow. Absolutely incredible. And he told us as well that the yerk is actually made out of wool, the outside. Yeah, the traditional ger. Yeah. This traditional housing. <laughs> and really, we can just see these gers all over the hills everywhere. Ipa told us that something like 40% of the population is still semi-nomadic and he told us that they're usually moving from a summer pasture to a winter pasture. They're moving like twice per year but in the south in the Gobi where the resources are more scarce then they're moving more like four times per year or more and basically these herds of animals that are all around are kind of semi-wild they're just kind of wandering around so it's a pretty good life for these guys and i think we've arrived at this place hello, hello. hi <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is go go this is one pigs hey. yes piggies hello, pigs, hey? oh hello <laughs> hey guys wow <laughs> oh i love pigs on the car park, the pigs. The pigs are in the car park. <laughs> what? Oh no, do we have to walk? I think it's up that hill in oh. front. I can see oh. people walking up. <laughs> We've got no fitness now that we live on the bike. We're like, anything that's like more than 100 meters from the bike, we're like, um... Should we turn around? <laughs> no, we're going to visit it. Let's do it. Hello, little piggy. Oh, that's so funny. Pigs in a car park. Hello. Hello. Come on. Ollie's the pig whisperer. Oh, no, he's not. He's not. Up, up, up we go. Look, you could normally drive up here. <laughs> Should we do it? Yeah. Looks a bit steep. <laughs> Look, the piggy's following us. I love Buddhist temples. They have always something really majestic. Yeah, this is a good location for a monastery. I mean, look at this area. It's super peaceful, beautiful pine forest everywhere. A little bit more to go. There's a real warrior next to me. He is sick, very sick. I'm going to go and ask Buddha for help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Buddha, please, please. make me better. Can you just come off me? Nice birds. Okay, sorry, back to you. Heal me, Buddha. I wasn't uh, mentally prepared for a hike today. <laughs> but we've got to get to the temple. We've got to go see it. We've got to go to Mongolia. We have to go through Russia. We have to go to Kazakhstan. We have to go all the way around the world. <laughs> oh my God, I think he's losing it. <laughs> Do you think there's such a thing as being traveled to death? You are strong, my love. You are strong. If you have the same problem that your husband always pretend to die <laughs> once, <laughs> he has like a little bit of a blocked nose or a sore throat. Please tell me what are you doing against it?
I think the main thing about this place that's really famous is the rock carvings. Have a look at this. And there's like carvings all over the place and even up on the edges of the cliffs, on the hills, there's just carvings everywhere. Yeah, it's a really cool place. It's so beautifully painted, this temple here. And they're just painting it right now as well. You can see them very, very carefully, very meditatively. And they're doing an amazing job. It looks so, so good. Look at the smile. It's all right when you get to the top, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, look at this location, hey? Wow. Oh. And he's making new friends. We did it. We conquered the mountain yes. to the temple. So now it's time to head back down to Bumblebee and get to Ulaanbaatar before it gets dark. The temple was beautiful i really like the colors i like the art i'm not sure what was going on with all these like <laughs> taxidermied frankenstein demon things <laughs> but they were cool figures anyway and the artwork inside there was just incredible so now we can hit the road again a little bit more zen walking makes hungry i prepared some bread with marmite and cheese for ollie and i prepared for myself some really nice bread with some uh, cucumber and tomato and some cheese. I think there's somebody else interested in my bread and cheese, hey? You looking for some bread and cheese, buddy? No, no, you wouldn't like this. You wouldn't like this, would you? Uh-oh, we've got another interested party now. Everyone wants to steal my cheese. It's not your cheese, buddy. Oh no, they're all coming now. <coughs> Hello, buddies. Hello. <coughs> <laughs> pretty cool place i read online just now actually that this is one of the three biggest buddhist monastic centers in mongolia so that's pretty cool and also that the site itself was actually established in the 1700s by order of the manchu emperor so this has been a religious buddhist site for hundreds of years and the rock carvings which are all over the place those are carved by the students and the teachers and it's a very peaceful place yeah i think so too very nice visit good recommendation ipo and yana so now we have 59 miles to reach our hotel we've actually booked three nights in a hotel on booking.com look some nice little ponies and some nice little piggies <laughs> <laughs> They're all excited about some food. Yeah. So it was 18 pounds a night. It's a pretty good price. Okay. Thank you. And the GPS is saying it's going to take us one hour and 50 minutes to get there. So it's quite a lot for 59 miles. So yes. let's imagine that there's going to be quite a bit of traffic coming into Ulaanbaatar. We are finally arriving in Ulaanbaatar. You can see the city laid out in the valley before us. But it's kind of crazy because we've got 11 miles left to get to this hotel. But it says it's going to take an hour to get there. 
and honestly there's been like not much traffic it's been very very easy cruising the whole time so something is going to change very dramatically if it's going to take us an hour to go to the next 11 miles oh got some congestion holy crap <laughs> sticks uh, i think because they go all to the right we have to go in this lane here ah uh, okay yeah i got yeah. you all right Okay. 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 Yep. All right. Let's see. Whew. Jesus. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> yeah, I mean congestion is not even a turn anymore for that here. It's yeah. like, it's like cars just everywhere here on the road. Yeah. <laughs> everywhere well as usual we seem to be hitting a capital city of a country at rush hour yeah oh yeah oh here we go i think i'm reaching the end of where i can skip wow yep i'm stuck okay it's about as far as we can get without hitting anyone please without hitting anybody <laughs> Very good, my love. May as well just get into the outer lane. Yeah, didn't they say like nearly half of the population is living here in Ulaanbaatar? Yeah, I think more than half of the population of Mongolia <laughs> is here. <laughs> oh, I think they broke ah, down. Ah, there you go. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh, got some all belts all over the ground. Wow. Something's going on there. One eternity later. Yeah, we are very, very close now to our place yeah we're fighting our way through that's yes. for sure <laughs> wow <gasps> but hey we've got our seven dollar mongolian insurance so no worries with that so apparently it is this turn to the right okay fine yeah a little bit further should be at the end of this street okay Danitsa. Danista. Okay, perfect. Yes, we made it. Yoo! All right, let's see if anybody's home. Hello. Aha. Yeah. Oh, how, many, <laughs> how many years? Uh, it's like um, 16 months Whoa. to reach here. Whoa. Yeah. Get some rest, guys. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. I can't wait to have a to have breakfast inside there tomorrow. Isn't it cozy? Yes, it is. Kind of want to live in a gear now. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess it's time to unload our stuff. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy and alive. Yo. Yeah, we got the <gasps> closest room to Bumblebee so that we could get all our stuff in quite easily. Look, Bumblebee is just... just there. Also means we can keep a good eye on her as well. Yeah, and there are some crazy cyclists as well. You can see their uh, bicycles down there. <laughs> I think they cycled all the way from Europe up to here. Yeah, it's quite nice actually. It's quite refreshing to see other travelers, other tourists. We just came in and I already heard a guy speaking on the phone and he's definitely English. Because yeah. yeah, in Russia, we did not see a single other tourist. So it's quite refreshing actually. We're back in a tourist place. Yeah with other tourists Woo! and this place here is really awesome the room is so nice and clean yeah. and we got free breakfast tomorrow morning which we are allowed to have in the ger yes. which is absolutely awesome but now it's time to have a couple of days of rest i don't know if you can hear from my voice but i definitely need to lie down <laughs> <laughs> the man's sickness has taken over <laughs> 
And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.